Hello everyone, Rob from Shell Repair USA here. In today's video, we're going to be doing an extremely involved repair on this Empacker 8 from the Naval Academy. What you're seeing in this first clip is that the hull is starting to buckle underneath the foot stretchers at seats 4, 5, and 6. We believe the cause of this is that the boat occasionally is riding between two large waves where the bow and stern are supported but the middle of the boat is in midair. So you can imagine it's almost like the boat is in two slings but it's still filled with rowers. We will be reinforcing these footwells with brand new carbon fiber lamination to prevent future catastrophic failure. Here you can see me starting the process by sanding the footwells with a low grit roll lock pad. This is creating a rough surface where the new carbon fiber will be laminated, ensuring a strong bond. Now I'm hitting all the edges by hand and then I'll go over the entire footwell with a scotch brite roll lock and then again by hand with a medium scotch brite. The entire footwell will be re-cleared so this ensures the clear will stick. The entire footwell is then vacuumed out and thoroughly cleaned with isopropyl alcohol and allowed to dry for a few minutes. Next, I tape off the entire area where the new carbon fiber will be laminated. This new carbon fiber will be laid up wet and vacuum bagged into the footwell. Here you see vacuum seal tape being placed directly to the masking tape around the perimeter. I like to pull out any loose bristles from my brush and then place a piece of tape around it to prevent any more from falling out into the part. I've already pre-cut all of the materials I need, so I go ahead and mix the epoxy thoroughly. The footwell is first wet with epoxy and then the new carbon is placed to ensure a proper wet out. Since this laminate is being vacuum bagged, 
It is okay to leave more than enough epoxy on the carbon fiber as the bagging process will remove the excess resin. This layer going on now is called the peel ply, which separates the epoxy from the breather material and is able to be peeled off of the cured laminate. Epoxy is able to slowly migrate through the peel ply and into the breather, which is removing that excess resin. Now the breather is laid on top, which is a non-collapsible cloth that allows the vacuum to evenly be distributed over the part. Without this material, you could potentially have the bag seal against itself and half of the part might not be under vacuum. Again, it's also soaking up the excess epoxy. The vacuum port is placed on top of the breather on the flattest part of the footwell to prevent damage.
for the hardest part of the process. The vacuum bag needs to be completely sealed against the tacky tape placed before the lamination began. That tape is up underneath the seat deck, which makes it pretty much impossible to see, let alone get a bag to seal up into there. So as I'm coming across the bulkhead at the top of the screen, I need to add an extra length of tape that pulls excess bag into the part. Since the tape goes along the top of the bulkhead, if you can imagine the geometry, without this extra pleat of tape pulling more bag in, the bag wouldn't actually be going down into the corner of the bulkhead. Now at this point, there's a ton of excess bag and I need to close it up completely with more of those pleats.
small slit is cut in the bag at the vacuum port location and the vacuum line is attached and the bag is pulled down. Now comes about 20 minutes of playing with the edges of the bag trying to stop all of the leaks. For the most part, I probably had about a 99% perfect bag on these footwells. It's very difficult to get a perfect vacuum on something, especially something that you can't even see. Satisfied with the bag, I place a heating blanket inside the footwell that will help post cure this part for a few hours. So now it's the next day and it's time to debag the part. So as you can see, it's a little bit easier to pull the bag out than to put it in. So now I'll be removing the breather and peel ply together and as you can see the peel ply is pretty tough to remove but as it's removed it is breaking the bonds of the surface and that causes the surface to now accept a top coat like a clear coat or even to be glued to something else. Since all of this masking tape was also vacuumed down, it took some time to fully remove it all. I'm coming in. So now the part is fully debagged and cleaned up and you can see the final result here. Next I'm going to be fully scuffing and cleaning the surface again just to ensure a great adhesion for the clear coat. So I'm using another Scotch-Brite Rolock disc and going over the entire footwell one more time.
now with the entire footwell cleaned and the corners of the keel piece and the bulkhead wiped down with isopropyl alcohol i'm going to be taping off the sides of that keel foot stretcher block and the bulkhead seam to create an epoxy fillet that will both add a little bit of strength to the boat but will also be for the cosmetic factor of making this whole thing look really nice again. So I've mixed up some more epoxy with a filleting filler and some graphite powder to color it black. You want it to be almost like a peanut butter consistency for these fillets. Here I transferred the epoxy into a reusable syringe in order to place it evenly in the corners before swiping it with my finger. You could also use pastry bags here to place the epoxy exactly where you want it. Once it's all placed, I wet my finger with some of the leftover epoxy and with one even swipe create a nice fillet in those corners. The tape is then removed immediately to allow the edges to sit down nicely. Here's what those fillets look like. So that's it for all of the footage. These next photos are the finishing touches to this repair. We hand fit a block of wood that extends the keel riser to the bulkhead for extra support and then match that with the same fillet as before. Then the entire footwell was cleared. Check out the final result for yourself. All of the products we used in this video can be found in the description below. Please like and subscribe for more repair videos and let us know down below what you think about this repair. Thank you for watching Shell Repair USA, the world's greatest boat shop.